So you decided to donate your body to science. Have you ever wondered what actually happens after you sign that paperwork? In most cases, medical schools or research institutions have special transport teams that collect donations. Just straight to sciencey business. What exactly happens to your body? Well, it depends on where you go. The most obvious pit stop is medical school. Future doctors need to practice and that means you might end up on a steel table with a bunch of nervous med students hovering over you. One section of medical school is plastic surgery. You might get a posthumous facelift. If you don't go to medical school, another place you might end up is at a body farm, basically a CSI playground where scientists study decomposition. That way, crime scene investigators can figure out what happened to real victims by studying how environments and time affect bodies. Crash test cadaver is what some donated bodies end up participating in. Yep, real bodies are sometimes used in crash tests. Some donated bodies are used for military and ballistic research to improve armor, weapons, and battlefield medicine. Scientists study how bullets, shrapnel, and explosions affect the human body. After all the research is done, most test facilities will cremate the remains and either return them to the family or lay them to rest respectfully. But the knowledge gained from that body donation, that lasts forever-ish. Your final act on Earth? Literally making the world a better place. That's pretty legendary.